The Redivis RT85 Dual Band Analog HT. We're going to take a look at it today. Shut up and sit down. Ham Radio 2.0, where we do reviews, news, and how-tos of lots of things that are new in amateur radio. Thank you for joining the channel today. My name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB. And today we're going to take a look at the Redivis RT85. This was sent to me by Redivis themselves. They sent me this radio directly and asked me to do a video on it. And I did a little bit of research on it, and I really like what I see so far. So I just wanted to take this time to show you guys what the radio looks like, do some power testing on it, and do an overall kind of overview of what you get in this package. Take a look at this real quick. Some important features of this radio that are beneficial is the fact that it has dual band, dual display, and dual standby. So it does not have true dual receive. The difference between dual standby or dual watch, what it calls dual watch in the menu and dual receive is that dual receive will receive on the top and bottom bands at the same time. So you basically hear two conversations crashing on top of one another, both at the same time. It's like listening to two different uh, radios at the same time. You turn on your V71, you turn on your ID51, you turn the volume up and you hear channels on both at the same time. Dual receive will hear both bands at the same time, no matter what. Dual watch or dual standby means that it monitors both bands, but the first one that shows activity takes over, and that's the only one you hear. So even if there's activity on the second band that starts after there's activity on the first band, you won't hear it. So it's kind of a limited feature of some of the lesser expensive radios that we see today, but that is what this radio has today. It has an AD, AB band independent operation, 200 channels stored in the memory, so it's got 200 memory channels in the radio itself. It does have an FM radio and 24 stations for the FM radio that it can store. It's got uh, wide, middle, and narrow band selectable. So it'll do uh, narrow band FM and it'll do middle band FM. I'm not really sure what that is. I might kind of tinker with that some more later. It has a uh, Vox 0 to 7 grade settings, CTCSS and DCS, of course. The 1750 hertz tone shortcut, shortcut menu operation mode. Emergency alerts, DTMF and remote stun kill activate, ANI function, eight group scrambler, which don't, we don't really use in amateur radio, but it's got that. It's got the two tone and the five tone capability, multi mode display, and multi types of keys for locking. So the important thing to remember is that this radio is a lesser expensive line. It's not going to be the quality of some of your Oshang $150 to $200 radios, or certainly not your uh, your Yezu FT3 and FT5 radios, but it's lesser expensive and it does the job just with less features. This is the box, of course. Got manuals and whatnot in here. Pretty much just comes with your standard fare. Nothing really special here. Desk charger, belt clip, what you might call it. So there's nothing uh, overly special about that box. One thing you're going to notice is that this radio is very reminiscent of the TYT UV88, which is a dual band analog HT. Uh, this one comes with a 1400 milliamp hour battery right there. You can see that in the picture right there. Put that on. The belt clip attaches to the battery itself right here. So that's something that uh, we've talked about in past videos that I don't particularly care for, but there are, you know, some people like that and there's reasons to it, and that's okay. So right there, RT85. And a really bright screen. Let's see if I can adjust that a bit. Enter. There it is, yeah. So it's called light. Enter. And it's, the default setting was seven. There's five. Enter. Two is too, too dim. Enter. I think that probably looks good Escape. in the video there. So we're going to do it that way. So what you're going to see is that it's very reminiscent of the... TYT UV88, which I've done a video on in the past and mentioned in a couple of other videos. That backlight doesn't stay on long enough for me. And turn off, turn off the beep if we want to. Timeout timer, busy lockout. It's got a Vox. Roger beep. Hey, we've got a Roger beep, guys. We are completed now. Well, that's kind of calm. Okay. Auto lock. Voice on. Enter. Turn that stupid thing off. Okay, now. There we go. 
CTCSS and DCSS software direction step. I wonder why it does that. Oh, because I'm in channel mode, that's why. So the great thing about this radio is that it, with with all the sales and whatnot that Redivis have been running lately, uh, during the holiday season when I'm recording this video, um, between Thanksgiving, Black Friday, and Christmas, New Year's of 2021, Redivis has been running some really good sales on their website. So some people might come along and say, well, why not get the TYT? Well, get the TYT. That That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. But if this is the same radio and you can get it brand new for less money, why not? Okay, because Redivis has really been pushing a lot of good sales over the Black Friday season for this year, and they've been running some uh, great deals on their website. And their website is actually a lot more updated than some other websites out there. A lot of times I get emails from people and they ask me, where can I download the software or the latest firmware for a certain TYT model of radio? And the answer I always give is the same. It's TYT888.com. That is TYT's website. If you can't find the software or firmware there, then you should email them because that's their website and it should be there. But if you go to that website, a lot of the times it's very slow. Uh, sometimes it won't come up at all. You have to wait a couple hours, then try it again. Um, but the Redivis website, redivis.com, I've had very good results in navigating through lots of stuff they do on their website. Um, so it's easy to order directly from their website. It's easy to order from a U.S. vendor or on Amazon. I'll put links below for this radio in the description of this video. But if you're comparing the two, Redivis just seems like it's a little bit easier to work with, a little bit more updated on the website, better sales going on, at least right now. So, you know, take your pick on which one you want. Let's, uh, let's put this on the power meter and see what we find. Okay, so this... We're going to be using this MFJ849 digital watt meter. I use this on several of my videos, and I really like it. This guy right here, we've got this plugged in to the power meter. And the great thing, I don't know if any of you, who, whoever you might have the UV88, in order to get the UV88 from VFO to memory mode, you have to power the radio off, hold down the 1 and 7 keys right here, Make sure that's in the camera. You have to power the radio off, hold down the one and seven keys at the same time and power the radio on while holding these keys down. And then it gives you like a tone. And when you release the keys, it goes from VFO to memory and back and forth. Kind of a pain in the butt to use in VFO memory mode. So this is one feature that the Redivis has that the UV88 does not have. Now, perhaps the UV88 has this in later firmware versions. I don't know. The UV88 that I personally own does not work this way. But all you have to do to switch back from memory to VFO press that button right there. You'll see the VFO on the far right of the screen next to the frequencies. And then you press it again, you see the channel number on the far right of the screen next to the frequencies. So one button press VFO memory switch. We're already better than the UV88 that I've had my hands on anyway. So we're going to go here and we're going to put it in VFO mode. And I'm going to put it on 146.52. This has three power settings. You can see power is high. Oops, no, I, I waited too long. Or no, I, I did that wrong, sorry. Okay, so let's go function power, function again. Power is high there and low and mid. So it's got three power settings, which is a lot of the times indicative of an 8-watt radio. So we're going to see what this looks like here in just a second. So let's get out of that. It doesn't have an exit out of the menu button. So you basically have to push the PTT get, to get out of the menu. That's kind of lame, but... It is what it is. So there's 146.52 on high power, and we're going to key up right here. And we're doing about just over 5 watts. Just over 5 watts. SWR is good. Reflection is good. So that's pretty good. That's to be expected. You know what? I forgot I had my base station radio on, KC5 HWB. I am going into a dummy load from this meter, so I'm not actually transmitting very far. But my outside antenna on my FT847 is picking it up, of course. So let's go over here to the B band, and I'm going to go to 446, uh, 500, and function power, still on high there. So 446, 500 is on the bottom band. We're going to key up on 440. That's doing about 4.3 watts, just over 4 watts on 440. KC5 HWB testing. So it does about... 5 watts on 2 meters and 4 watts on 440 on high power. 
I will go back up here and I'm going to function power, mid power on two meters is about two and a half watts. You can see right there, KC5 HWB testing. And then low there. KC5 HWB testing, just over one watt. So we're doing one watt, just over two and a half watt, one watt on low power, two and a half watts on mid power, and just over five watts on high power. That's pretty good. I mean, it's advertised as a five watt HT. Okay, four watts on UHF. It's advertised as a five watt HT, so it's doing what it's advertised. I find it a little bit odd that a five watt HT has three power settings. It happens, it's sometimes, you know, I just, I, I've noticed that in Chinese HTs, a lot of times when they put three power settings in there, it means it's an eight watt HT, but you're not getting that in this radio. But it's okay because it's advertised as a five watt radio. So they're giving us exactly what they advertise. Who has this radio? What do you think about it? Check the link in the description below, especially if it's during 2021, because they're running some really great sales right now. Thanks for watching guys.